This is your Billy O'Devon log cabin. This is such a superb way of enjoying your garden even more because this could be your sitting area, your craft room, your sewing room, your knitting room. It could be for hobbies, it could be for a gym. This could even be your working from home office area as well. Superbly built, premium quality, a cost effective way of really enjoying your outdoor life. I've been joined by Nick from Billio. Hi, Nick. Welcome Hi there. Along. Thank you. Um, with, with the Devon log cabin, we're talking about the strength and the quality. We're calling this a premium log cabin. Why is that? Yeah, I mean, as with all of our log cabins, they're constructed using slow-grown Scandinavian softwood. That gives it a tighter grain. And again, with all of our log cabins, they use the same method, which is interlocking boards. So whereby a shed is made by a panel that's pre-made, these are individual boards that simply interlock into place. It gives you a really strong, solid construction. So this is, it's tongue and groove, and it's interlocking as well, so it makes it really strong. Exactly it? right, so it's joined together essentially in two different ways. Okay, now the three different strengths that you can choose from, you can either go for a standard, there's a premium or the ultimate. What's the difference between the three? Let's start with the standard. Yeah, absolutely. The standard is 28 millimetres thick. Um, so boards just like this, 28 millimetres thick, ideal for use during the summer, but not necessarily during the winter months. Okay, and then the intermediate one, which is the premium? Yep, 35 millimetre, so it would be about there on this board. Uh, and what you can find, you can use that during the winter months. Uh, you can put some heating in your cabin and that should be absolutely fine. And then the ultimate? Yep, this is what you see here now. This is a double tongue and groove construction and this means it's absolutely fine during the whole of winter. Put a heater in there, you can use it as an office or a, an extra living space entire year. So it's absolutely fantastic for that reason. So for instance, if I was going to build an outdoor gym, would I, would I need the ultimate? Because it's going to take a lot of pounding. I, I would certainly suggest it. I mean, uh, wherever possible, we would always suggest going for the 44 millimetre building because it just gives you that added usage and you can use it the whole year round. It just gives you a whole new dimension to that building. Would it matter about the weather? If I'm in, um, maybe I've got an exposed garden that gets quite a lot of wind, should I go for the strongest? I mean, again, with it, with it being the dual construction, with the uh, added double tongue and groove, it will make it that much stronger. So anything that's thicker and stronger will be certainly a lot stronger and a lot more resistant to any of the weather. And unfortunately, certainly in this country, we do get a lot of the bad weather, I'm afraid. Now, when you choose your log cabin, you can also choose the type of windows that you'd like as well. And there are two types, aren't there, Nick? Yes, that's exactly right. As standard, our log cabins come with what we call a styrene finish. Now, this is a thin sheet of plastic, and you would put that in the doors or windows yourself. Now, with this particular model, we've actually upgraded it to the double glazing. Now, this gives you a toughened glass finish. And what that means is you're going to get two sheets of glass, which are six mil thick, with a four mil space in between. So it's a lot stronger construction as well. And not just stronger, that's going to be more beneficial in the winter time if you're outdoors because it'll be more insulated and of course soundproofing as well. Yeah, absolutely. It just gives that extra dimension to this cabin. It means again you can use it through the winter months. Just put a heater in there and that should keep you fine when it's really cold as well. And likewise, as you say, with any budding musicians or somebody who wants to make a lot of noise in here, I would definitely go for the okay. double glazed option for quietness. Uh, and what about furniture? Does that come as standard? Yeah, it certainly does. And as you can see, it's all lockable as well. So it just gives you that added security as well. And one more choice that you need to make is the style of windows that you want to. Yeah, absolutely. Now with this particular model, this is what we call the modern finish. So it has nothing on it. Now what we also do is a Georgian. Now this gives you vertical and horizontal bars just to give that final finishing touch to the cabin. Now let's have a think about the type of flooring and base that you need for your, uh, your log cabin when you get it home. Uh, basically, we'll need to put a flat surface down ourselves, won't we? Yeah, I mean, that's the key thing when building a log cabin. It has to be level and flat. So for this, we'd advise solid level concrete, maybe six inches thick, or really strong solid slabs as well. And then we've got choices of the type of floor we're going to buy. Yeah, again, with all the Billio cabins, we give you a choice. So if you're an avid DIYer and you're feeling pretty advanced, then we can just supply you with the bearers and you can build your own floor for your own cabin. Okay. If you're feeling as though you want to uh, have a little bit of assistance with it, but only want sort of basic use, we can supply you with 11 mil boards. And again, you just fix those to the bearers that we supply. Now with this particular cabin, we've gone for the upgraded option again, which is 19 mil. So this means you don't have to worry about dropping anything on the floor, hopefully as well. Again, you just get a pack of boards and you just fit them together yourself onto the bearers provided. Do you know that you can really sense the difference that the double glazing makes to the, to the sound in here to start with? It really does make an enormous difference, to be honest. And you can hear yourself think and take yourself away to wherever you want the log cabin to take you to as well. I find it quite calming. Yeah, completely. It does make a huge difference. 
Now, something that's really important when you're buying your log cabin is, of course, the view that you're going to see outside your log cabin. So how do we, how do we make the most of the view? Well, with all of the modern range of Bilio cabins, we're very aware of this. And so whatever cabin you buy, we'll send you the packs and then you literally position the doors and windows exactly where you want. So, for example, this one is on the front right of the cabin, but you can have it on the left hand side or at the rear as well. And likewise with the doors, you can actually flip it round so you've got the doors on the far side and the window where I'm stood right now. So if I change my mind after I've ordered my log cabin, when I get this home and I want the doors on the other side, it's not too late, I can actually do that. Well, you wouldn't even need to because we'd still send you out the same package and it's your choice. You just build it as you want as you're going through the process of building the cabin. So that's what I like about Billy. You really do get a personal service and, and the ultimate bespoke log cabin for your garden. Do you know, one of the first things I noticed when I came inside the Devon log cabin is the sense of space. It's so roomy. The, the ceilings, the roof is really tall, isn't it? It's really high. Well, I mean, I'm stretching up and I can't reach the roof. It really does give a great sense of space in here. Uh, it really is a fantastic garden getaway. And, and you know, it looks great as well. We've got Tongan groove on the roof. Is that standard on, on any of the options? It is. With our Bilio cabins, we love to keep the features premium and that's why we offer you Tongan groove. You'll notice, as with the walls, it's a smooth finish and we use that on the roof as well. So all of our cabins come with tongue and groove roofs. Now, as standard, you'll get 11 millimetre boards, which you'll just assemble yourself. With this cabin, we've gone for the upgraded 19 millimetre version. So again, you'll just assemble those yourself and it just gives that extra bit of strength. And I suppose with it being tongue and groove as well, it, they, all of the panels kind of interlock, don't they? So that adds to the strength of the roof, which is really important. It does. It adds to the strength and the insulation. And unfortunately, in this country, we get a lot of bad weather and it really helps keep that out as well. So do I have choices as to what goes on the top of my roof? Absolutely. With Billio, we love to give you choices, you know. As standard, you won't get any roof covering, so it just gives you the option to put on something that you may have seen that you, you prefer than what we can offer you. However, with ourselves, we can offer you felt, which is going to be a, a standard mineral felt, which is the stronger, thicker felt. Or with this particular cabin, what we've done is we've put the roofing shingles on it. Now, this just gives you that real tiled look, so it gives a great effect and a final finish onto the cabin. No matter what you're going to be using your log cabin for, security nick is really important. So do we have locks as standard? It really is. I mean, don't get me wrong, some people are going to put some very expensive things in our cabin and we're fully aware of that. That's why with this building, we give you a five lever security lock, just to give you that added bit of uh, peace of mind, really. And something else while we're talking about the doors is how far open they actually do open. We've got some big pieces of furniture inside here and they do accommodate. Well, what you'll notice is the hinges are actually mounted on the outside and they're also fully adjustable as well. But what that does gives you a great range of motion on the door so you can really open it wide and obviously let that beautiful sun in when it does actually come out as well. And what about maintenance? Will I need to add any kind of treatment to the wood when I get it home? We would certainly advise it, yeah. What you'll notice, as it comes as standard, there's no treatment on it at all. Now, the reason we do this is because some people love the colour of the cabin as it arrives in the natural wood. So what you can do is you can just varnish it and that will just keep the colour as it is right now. But we do also have a variety of colours available on the website. As long as you colour it with something, ideally we would say annually, then it's absolutely perfect. And what more, it just means you can customise it to exactly the way you want it to fit into your garden. So Nick, why Bilio and why should we be going for the Devon Log Cabin? Well, the Devon, honestly, really is the ultimate cabin we do in terms of customizability. So whether you want it for something, a little getaway for the kids to give you that a little bit of uh, peace throughout the day, or whether you want to use it as an office so you literally run your entire livelihood from it, there's literally an option for everybody. So you can have a really small one or a really large one, and then you move on to the options. You can choose how thick the floor is, choose how thick the walls are and the roof, and you can also choose what's on the roof as well. So literally the options are endless. So ultimately, you're going to end up with a log cabin that's bespoke for you, that's going to be useful for you, that's affordable extra space in your garden and helping you to enjoy your garden and your outdoor living even more.